The following video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. Nearly 70 years of quality HVAC tools. Hey guys, just a short video here. We are charging up a Train XV20. Variable speed. So basically what we had is uh, this was a maintenance and after uh, doing the maintenance and then went to check the refrigerant charge, I noticed that the charge was low. I use, you can see my stub gauge down there. Put the stub gauge on there and noticed that it was uh, pretty low. So I've got the unit running and we found a leak in the evaporator. This is a TAM 8 air handler. Uh, there's been some issues with the TAMs blowing out refrigerant but this one didn't blow out refrigerant but it is leaking when you're charging up a train variable speed and I, there was a time that i didn't know this because i was charging up an american standard variable speed and somebody pointed it out to me and i didn't even know you know so i figured somebody else might this might help somebody else i don't know about other brands i'm sure the other brands have the same thing but anyway you want to make you want to go to the thermostat the communicating thermostat and you want to put the system in charging mode so this is uh, now I'm talking about train like I said carrier ICP all that uh, I don't remember ICP having that but I could be wrong I I'm sure carrier Linux and some of the other ones have it but you definitely want to go to charging mode I've been letting the unit run for, uh, for 15 minutes when you go to the charging mode on the communicating thermostat train tells you that uh let it run for about 15 minutes and we've well surpassed 15 minutes you can see my numbers are off over there i'm looking for 10 degrees of subcooling so i'm about to add some more uh, i'm well over 15 minutes of run time but the reason you want to put it in charging mode is because it, it 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 ramps up the outdoor unit and ramps up the blower i think it ramps up the blower to like 85 percent and then it ramps up the outdoor unit to a hundred percent so don't ever just put a train variable speed on cooling and turn the temperature down. That's not gonna cut it. You actually have to go into technician's menu and go to test mode and then hit ch uh, uh, charging mode. And it'll, it'll automatically cut the system on and it'll ramp up everything. You gotta let it run for at least 15 minutes. And then when you're through charging, you can uh, go inside and uh, turn it off. Go inside and turn turn it off of charging mode. So anyway, I just thought I'd make a short video of that. And uh, plus I wanted to load something up. So you guys take care. Thank y'all for watching. And we'll see y'all on the next one.